I don't want to go through the front door because it will take me literally three episodes to get get through it. So I really don't want to do that. I never really go through the front door anyways because it is it takes so long to do that. Oh no. That's all we got here. Oh! Give me, give me. I can't get up. I can't get out of here. Get me trapped. Good morning, soldiers of the zombie apocalypse. Welcome to episode 5 of my vanilla 7 Days to Die. Um, Alpha 16 play. I, the last night, I uh, left the, left the, uh, the cracker book. I promptly fell off the roof. I broke my leg. I had to crawl back. Luckily, I didn't get killed. Um, everything went okay. And I got back to here, and I actually fell off the roof again once I got it splinted. I fell off the short roof up top, and I uh, broke my leg again. So I've had my leg three broke three times in the last day. Let's see where these guys are. It is morning. I think it's that guy over there, girl over there, whatever it is been making noise all night. I, uh, I'm going to try to finish the crack of book today. I'm not going to do the whole, the whole thing. What I'm going to do is, where, where'd she go? What I'm going to do is the, uh, the second, third floor. I'm going to go basically loot three floors down. But first, I really, really have got to get some resources. Uh, going on this kind of special loot run that I've been doing has really hurt me as far as uh, resources go. I need to get wood really bad. Boy, it's, it's just so hard in this cold. It's This is not easy. I made me some coffee. And I will drink that while I yeah, see how cold it is. I can't function in this co in this cold, so I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to head on over to the uh, burnt biome. So let me uh, break break and figure out a place that I can chop down some trees. It's probably gonna be the burnt biome. I just can't do anything here. It's too cold. This is really a bad setup, but I need to need to loot, get done looting this cracker book, and then maybe I can move on somewhere else. So uh, hang loose, and I will be back with some fun stuff once I'm done with the grunt work. Here we are. Okay, <clears throat> here's the situation. I went out to uh, to find some yucca coming around this corner. And I saw this green patch over here. So I headed over here. And I found an absolutely perfect place to put a base. Right here I'm near three biomes. Right here. Actually near four biomes. I'm near all kinds of stuff. So this is a good little valley to put it in. So what I'm going to do, or what I did, is I dug out, let's see, seven by seven. And I didn't go too far down because I wanted to... Uh, Want it to go on video with, with what I'm doing now, but this is going to be the cap. This is how I start every base I ever do, uh, and some of them that don't even turn out like to be a base it turns out to be a mine or something. Basically, I just take a put either a cement, preferably cap on it, or a flagstone in this case. Usually, I'm I'll do uh, cement right away, but I don't have cement so. Okay, I'm out. 
I need to make some more flagstone. Let me make, uh, I've got to get some more. Let's see, cobblestone. Not had enough. Okay, let me, uh, I'm going off video again. I'm going to do a little bit of mining and I will be right back on. Okay, here we go. Basically, <clears throat> I just go one deep at this point. This, uh, this cap will eventually be bigger. What this is only intended for is to keep me protected during non-horde nights. I'm like really pumped. This is, um, this is exactly what I was looking for. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Because the hatch won't stay on, I gotta lay a plate down. And what I will do, I will dig. I broke my uh, first first hatch, so. Okay, I want to close the hatch. And I'm going to dig a little bit. The reason I'm digging now is I want to get this set up so I can just come jump in it when it's evening. Okay. Let's see if this will hang it up. Okay, this is ready. And there we go. There is our the hopefully the start to our base. If not, it's at least a start to a spot to where we can do some mining. So I should probably, I don't know if I'm going to put my bed down there yet, but I'm going to go ahead and head back to the city. It is 1400. Oh boy. I don't really need to. Man, I don't know. Let me, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and show you how far away it is. There it is over there. So it's it's not particularly close, but it ain't far either. Right there. Alright, gonna go off video and uh, I will come back on when I either get there or get back. Okay, here I am. Uh, I went ahead and go back, got back to the, uh, the old area. It's too late to actually do anything other than kind of organize some stuff and head back. I'm not gonna be able to hit the crack of book. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, head head back to the base. If I can find it. Where is it? 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 Is it that way? Why can't I see it on the hood? Oh, I don't need any more feathers. Um, I'm going to head back to the base 
and I'm going to dig through the night, but it's 1700, so I still got time to do a few things. What I want to do is I got my wrench. I want to try to wrench enough stuff to be able to make a cement mixer, because I may have enough to make the uh, uh, the. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh man, I really should go back on the cracker book. I'm going to have to do that because I think I got an anvil in the cracker book. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to head up here to get this anvil. It's, I think it's like 200. Two hundred uh, iron to do that to make one, which I don't have right now. There's also a grill over here too. Outstanding video, huh? I fell off this thing like I said a little while ago, and it. It was not good. I'm surprised I didn't die. I uh, just how I fell off is I I basically stepped forward because I was I was kind of waffling on whether I wanted to go down because it was getting getting to be time to uh, have uh, zombies run. So I was kind of like, eh, should I go down? Should I not? And I just basically stepped off the end, and it was not was not my proudest moment okay there's an anvil here I want that what else did I want I want the grill which I can make that actually but there's another wrench that I want coffee beans I want leather I want I need to save enough. Come on, get that room to be able to loot cars. Come on. Okay. Given this is a dangerous feat, apparently. Oh, I'm going to be happy to get out of this snow. Okay. I actually broke my leg off this thing too, which I wasn't 100% sure this was high enough, but it is. Why my base is not marked on the hood? Don't know. I'm only going to hit up a couple cars and I need one engine. Oh, great. Again, this isn't what I prefer to put on video, but I'm just going to do it for a couple cars.
grab that. Carry too many feathers with me. All this other stuff I really, really want. I can scrap that. Can't scrap that, but I don't need it. Also, I don't think I need to go that far into tearing the car apart. I think it's once the second level is done, I think that's when your engine drops. I'm not 100% sure. Though. I don't want to do that. That'll take up space. one engine and doesn't even matter for the cement mixer. Doesn't matter the quality of it. See if I drop anything. It would be a battery of the engine. I think I got slots for everything else. Also, <clears throat> I was thinking about something. Um, when you go through and you loot the like, something like the cracker book early. If you want to finish the whole building out, you're probably better off not reading the books and the schematics until until you're done with your looting. Because what it'll do is it will raise your player level and your your. Uh, what'll happen is if you keep reading the books as you're going through, your the zombies are going to get tougher and tougher. So just wait till you get done with the building. And uh, that way the zombies will be easier while you're in there. Now, you know, that's not maybe what sounds like a wussy way to do it, but you know what, when you're in there, problems ready oh, that was a bad shot okay give me an engine Go, that's gotta go. What else? What else? You know, and I can drink that.
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Dang it. I really, I don't want all this gas right now. It's, what was that? Oh, uh, mechanical part? Electrical part? I'm just following on the right side what, what's dropping in there. Something kind of odd. Oh, that was a light, headlight. Okay. Boy. Come on, just one engine. One engine, and that'll get me going. Just get you a little bit nauseous going around here, but hey, said it is the best way to not get uh, attacked from behind when you're looting. Scrap. Boy, I really don't need this gas. The problem is, it's just going to go back in there. I could always burn the gas in the forge and the uh, um, campfire too, which by the way that is inadvisable so never do that, only in this game. You want to only the <clears throat> only the cars with uh come on where did that guy go? He's right there. Only the cars with that are in relatively good shape have the engine. The ones that just have the are all stripped down. This guy's too tough. Mercury skill went up on a miss. Oh, I could actually use that, I think. Okay, we're going to have to figure something out here. Oh, boy. Scrap that. Don't need that. Okay, I'm getting kind of in the weeds with what I'm doing on video. I'm... I, really really did not want to get into too much running around on video I'm trying to cut down on that I uh, looked at some of my older video and I really didn't like the fact that so much of it was was running around and going through boxes and that kind of thing but unfortunately I think sometimes you have to I just don't think it makes the best best video Come on, where are some cars? It is 20 hundred. Get one more car. Then I'm going to boogie on back. I almost hate that the fact that a lot of these little POIs, these little houses, are kind of discounted as far as uh, <coughs> looting, because there's just not much in them. They did fix that a little bit in Alpha 17 coming up, 
where they're actually, they call them dungeon style, where even though they look a certain size, they actually loot bigger than that. You know, it may look like a 20 by 20 house, but you get inside of it, it loots like it's a, you know, 60 by 60 house. It's got more rooms than you would think, and that's just pretty cool. But I think you also run into the dilemma then, do you want to get tied up in these still not spectacular buildings looting? Oh man, I don't know. We have to head back. It's 2019. gonna basically have to work my way back. If I run into a car, run into a car. Otherwise, we're because uh, I'm I definitely want to hit the hit the base and start working on that at night. Surely I'll find another car in this mess. Just one more. best things about leveling up is you get rid of this um, stamina issues. It's so frustrating on, the er frustrating on the early parts of the game. Okay, here's one car. This one's a darn near complete car. You would think that there would be an engine in that thing. Matter of fact, boy, I wonder if I can drink this drink. Yeah, great. Um, shall see. Oh, and there's Bertha. Darn it. Come on, I don't get time for you. Well, it's gonna be too hard to bring down. Oh, maybe not. Okay, last card, and we get out of here. I've got to be prepared for something to drop on the ground too. I am willing to drop a few things in my inventory for an engine or even a battery. Don't need you. It's gonna keep giving me gas. Getting a little too late. If I run across something on the way back, I'll 
I hit it, but I am uh, I'm going to head back and I will probably do a little video while in uh, digging the base tonight to kind of make up for the lack of really anything that happened today. So, but I'm going to go ahead and run back off camera. Welcome back, and this is what I got done overnight. Oh, forgot a rung on the stairs. Great. Totally entertaining video, huh? Okay, how do I get... Alright. Basically, came down here for my first drop box. Came down here, dug all this out. Had enough stuff to make four forges, so I figured, what the heck, go ahead. Got my fire going. Always put... Always upgrade your uh, wood if you're setting something on it, or else when you pull, pull the uh, if you accidentally pull the frame out, it'll crash it. I've got a little bit of rock in there. Uh, I kept some with me. Let's see, let's might be able to go ahead and cut this off. Uh, let's go ahead and not a whole lot in there. No reason to keep it going. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and head on back and finish out the uh, when I got to find my way there actually because I took my when well, no, I still got my bedroll I'm going to stick my bedroll over here and I'm going to have to mark where the city is now because that's my bedroll was the city mark well, specifically, I think that is the cracker book. Okay. I'm going to get my bedroll in there as soon as I can, but it will it'll be a while. Uh, against my better better discretion, I'm going to go ahead and loot the, crack, the rest of the cracker book today. I think everything's going to respawn in there, so it's not going to make it easy. And tagging that part of the video on with the other video is probably going to make this long, but we will see. So I'm going to get off and run on over there and get in position to have some fun. See you in a bit. Okay, a couple cars here. I'm going to go and loot them. I looted another one along the way, and for some reason I'm getting repair kits, which is pretty awesome. Got one and the other ones. I love looting cars. This is wrenching cars is like my favorite thing to do in this game other than building. It always gives you good stuff. I mean everything in looting a car is good. <clears throat> Come on, there's that bad boy, give it to me. Give me that engine. Give me that engine. Oh yeah, give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I want that. I want that. Okay. I'm going to say that if you don't get it in that one, that you're not getting it. But I'm going to go ahead and keep looting cars until I figure that one out. I think it is pretty much that, though. I think the rest you're just getting, uh, getting junk. matter of fact I'm not going to do that because I feel pretty secure about that and my wrench Ooh, mining helmet yeah baby I know it's a weak one but in this game a mining helmet good or bad is good first of all I got no engine right 
So that was one of my next things to check off the list, was a mining element. Need a hammer? A couple hammers would be nice. A, um, obviously the auger and the mini bike. And the chainsaw, but we all know how that goes. That will come when it comes. Come on, when the engine, some engines. But I think the engines will. As, if I just get out and wrench cars, I'll get engines. They're not any big secret. Wrench is almost dead. Once this wrench is dead, I can't do anything with it. I can't repair it. I did most of the digging through rock with a axe because it was faster. I did not level up as much in the mining aspect and all that, which is a bummer. But I really wanted that one little room done. So I was kind of in a hurry to get that done. Okay, that's all I can do. Scrap that. The rest of this stuff can go up. Relatively certain there's an easier way to get in there, in here. Okay, I bet you this is the one that's booby trapped. Yep, beware. Right there. Okay. A few batteries. Oh, there's another engine. Okay.